I'm 30 years old from Australia and I'm here to crush it at Ironman 70.3 Salem Z Kapun this weekend. Hi, I'm Rebecca Clark, 33 years old from New Zealand and I'm here to race at Salem Z Kapun uh, to take on the Europeans at, in their home turf in this beautiful setting. I kind of liked riding it backwards because it's quite technical on the descent and quite intense and so um, yeah, when you were coming down the other way, it was kind of a straight shoot rather than super technical descent. So I kind of like the reverse, but come race day, we've got to go full send the other direction. So yeah, I grew up uh, competitive swimming um, before I moved into triathlon, about 22 years old. Definitely helped being a strong swimmer in um, the ITU, um, but now it uh, also helps in the longer distance, um, having that good swim to start with. Have definitely uh, improved this year. I think I've been able to get some solid training blocks in where previous years I probably raced a lot more. So I think Emma, um, you know, you, you want to try and get off the bike if you can before her because she's going to be screaming you down on the run. So race back and Emma both, you know, a lot of times before. So I kind of know a little bit about, you know, their strengths and um, yeah, I'm excited to get into the race. Yeah, the bike is, it's a good mixture. Um, there's some really fast sections, so there's you know, a good amount of climbing, but the, the start um, is you know, pretty, pretty fast. And then you go into the climb, which is, I think it's about 14, 15 K in total. So um, yeah, definitely about managing, not overcooking yourself a bit too much in that climb. Um, and then you've got a descent to recover the legs, but you've still got after that, you've still got about you know, 50, 55 K to go, um, which still has some undulations. So you kind of need to, still have some fuel in the tank um, for those um, and then yeah I haven't checked out the run course but uh, yeah, I've heard it's all flat and I think it's been pretty scenic around the lake. I'd love for no rain, um, I don't mind if it's a little bit warm uh, but yeah a day like today was perfect I think it was about 25 and sunny and if we can get the same I think I'd be pretty happy with that. I think I've, I've come from racing a few Ironmans lately where I think you more had to kind of play your own cards. But I think the 70.3 you kind of have to be a bit more reactive. Um, so yeah, I, I mean last weekend I tried to go with Lucy Charles in the swim and um, you know I just wanted to find out where I was at compared to her. Couldn't you know stay with her the, the whole swim but um, you know saw that I wasn't like too far off. I think this course you might need to take a few risks otherwise someone will be away and up the climb you might not see them. I know my strengths and I know what I'm capable of and I know if I go too hard too early I'm going to blow up so there's a little bit of a happy medium with that. Um, you know obviously you can't let the race go ahead and leave you behind so there's some kind of component of risk taking and having to try and hang on for as long as you can um, with probably for me that will be on the bike and then see what I've got um, on the run. I think with my strength being the run I'm more of a risk taker on that aspect but um, yeah, again, it comes down to how you're feeling on the day and if you've got it to go for it. Um, if you're feeling a little bit under the weather, then perhaps um, yeah, play it safe a little bit and really go for it hard at the end. Hi, I'm Fred Funk, uh, 25 years old, German pro triathlete, and I'm here to win the 70.3 Zellamsee Austria. Hi, my name is Jan Stratmann. I'm 27 years old, a pro triathlete from Germany, and I'm the last year's champion and here to defend my title. So, do you, like mentally, do you come into a race and go, oh, I've not beaten Fred yet? Now, this is like, do you play mind games while you're training? Or what's the... I, I don't think so, because like, like, there's so much other athletes every time on the start line you fight against. So it's basically more like, yeah, your, French, your, your friendship lasts until the, the gun goes off and then it goes on again when you finish. But yeah, like in, in a race, everybody is doing more or less the best what he can do or what I can do, what Fred can do. And then we see who's better. And 
if he wins, he deserved the win, and if I win, I hope I deserved it. I never fear my, my, my competitors. <laughs> no. I mean, I, I have a, a respect for uh, most, most of them, of course. And um, there will be like uh, some competitors I will watch out for also during the race, like Sebi Kienle, um, Andy Dreitz is making his comeback. Uh, really looking forward to that. And Ruben Zipuntke, I'm sure he's quite fit as well. Jan, of course, uh, some other strong Germans, so there are a lot of strong guys. I think you, you can't predict anything for also for this race. You have the, yeah, I think quite a unique course and a beautiful scenery. Like last year, for example, there was some challenging weather conditions and you never know. But yeah, really looking forward to yeah, give it a go. And with, uh, with this deep feel, I just hope that it's fair, especially on the bike. Oh, I'm bit number one. No, I'm a bit, I'm bit number two. <laughs> because uh, Zebi has... Uh, Ah, okay. Got got bit one on so number one. Off from number one. Yeah. Uh, to bring it for Sebi. So all the pressure is on Sebi now. <laughs> um, no, I'm I'm fine with it. So he's the big name of obviously. I grew up in the mountains, so um, it kind of I always tell myself for the extra confidence that it gives me some extra energy. <laughs> And uh, it's, it's true, like every race I did in the mountains, I always ended up at least on podium, so. <laughs> <laughs> We've done our research and you're a bit of a latte artist, I believe. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs>